Hi everyone, so today is a bit of a different video. Um, I realized yesterday that I just hit 50 videos on YouTube and I thought I would just do a what I learned making my first 50 videos because it's been quite the journey and I know I haven't been on YouTube for a very long time, it's been about two months now, but honestly during that time I've learned so much and I've just had so much fun like getting to know the whole YouTube thing and it's it's something that I've really learned to enjoy and I feel like I'll be doing for a long time. So I have a long list of my phone of things that I've learned, mistakes that I've made, things that I still need to work on and just what my thoughts are on having a YouTube channel. So I'm just going to go through the list and talk a little bit about the things that I have learned so far. So starting off, um, I did not know anything about cameras. So I bought a really expensive camera because I wanted to have good quality videos right off the bat and I figured that if I did buy a new camera that I wouldn't be able to make an excuse to not make any videos because I spent all that money so now I didn't really have a choice and that was kind of like the push that I needed to start my channel so I bought the camera, I got the camera and then I was like now what the hell do I do? So it took me a little while in videos to figure out like how to even turn a camera on, how to put the settings on. At first I didn't know anything so I used it on autofocus and just auto mode so it did everything for me but eventually I realized that especially now that I have a backdrop that it just doesn't pick up very well in auto if you have a dark background so I had to figure out how to do the lighting and stuff and that's still not perfect so that's something that I'm really working on still and it's really hard because when it's overcast like you got the clouds coming in and it changes the lighting in your video and there's really nothing you can do about it so that part is a little bit frustrating so I'm still working on just like this whole camera thing like I have never had a camera in my life nothing like this anyway so that was probably like the first obstacle that I met when trying to produce videos and the second thing obviously goes with editing because I had never used an editing software in my life I didn't even know like how to cut something out of a video so the first video that I made was my palette collection video I'll link that up there if you want to check it out so Basically, I did not want to be in front of the camera in my first video because I didn't know like how to edit out if I screwed up and so I figured I would just like sit down and talk about my palettes because how hard could it really be to edit that video? So I filmed it and I had about an hour of footage and I want to, I want to say it took me maybe three hours to edit that video because I literally didn't know what I was doing. I did not put in any like special effects or even texts or anything really. All I did was just like cut out the parts where I messed up or said something twice and stuff like that and I have watched so many videos on YouTube on how to learn how to edit because that was hard for me. That's still kind of hard for me and there's a lot of things that I don't know. I use iMovie so there's still a lot of things that I don't know about iMovie and I am always learning. I'm still trying to figure out new techniques to edit and obviously I mean I've been doing this for two months so I really have no idea what I'm doing but I feel like I'm finally starting to get the hang of it to the point where like my videos kind of flow so that's nice and uh, editing is hard that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> also speaking of editing the time it takes to edit is so long especially like the longer your footage is obviously the longer it takes to edit because you have to go through all that footage so let's say you film for 45 minutes obviously that's 45 minutes that you have to sit through and watch and then you have to like go back and listen to whatever it is that you cut out to make sure that it's fine so the quicker you can do your videos the faster they're going to be to edit obviously and then also the end result when you're like finished editing you still have to go back and watch the whole thing over again to make sure that like the editing looks good so if you have a 30 minute video you have to sit through your own like 30 minute video before you can really like upload it so that's another thing uploading it takes a very long time first you have to save it to your computer so just a part of transferring your files to your computer from iMovie takes probably like five minutes and then once that's done you have to upload it to YouTube and depending on the length of the video this can take anywhere from I'd say half an hour to an hour maybe more than that so during that time where you're just sitting around waiting for your video to upload now you have to go in and do your description box and the, this is the part that I did not know when starting YouTube is that like the behind the scenes stuff take a long time especially if you want to make sure that like your content is going to be searchable and shown to people and like recommended to people and stuff like that 
you have to make sure that you're using specific things in your description box and your tags and your titles and that all those three things kind of like work together because the search engine needs to pick up on this stuff so that people can find your videos. Because like what is the point in like spending all this time on making a video if you're not going to make sure that people see it, right? So all this stuff takes a very long time and I did not know that. So after you're done like making your video from the time you start editing until you have it put up, it's probably going to take you like, I mean, obviously depending on how long the video is, maybe like four hours. So, you know, the whole process takes a while. And then afterwards, when you're done uploading it, um, and this is after you've also made your thumbnail, which <laughs> you probably do while you're waiting for the video to upload, at least I do. Also the thumbnails take a long time to make because you have to like, either you have to pose for a photo, like while you're making the video, you have to be like, you know, like showing whatever it is that you want your thumbnails to be. And honestly, I always forget to do this still. Even after 50 videos, I forget to pose for a thumbnail and I have to go through my whole video to try to get like a screenshot that I can use for a thumbnail. And speaking of screenshots, I didn't even know how to take a screenshot before I started this. So that was another thing that I had to learn. And uh, taking screenshots have become like such a crucial part of making videos because if I go to insert a picture into my video, I have to first screenshot it from wherever I'm taking it and then I have to upload it to the video. So that's something that I've been doing all the time now and it's kind of fun to know how to do. Now I've literally just been talking and I haven't even looked down at my phone. So I just looked and I've gone through like a lot of the things already, but I want to go back to like just when you're first starting to film and you're first being in front of the camera for the first time, Obviously you have the viewfinder that like I'm looking at it right now. So when I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm obviously looking at myself and it doesn't look like I'm talking to you guys. But if I look into the camera, like you have more of a connection with me. And that was something that I had to learn right off the bat that I cannot be looking at myself in the viewfinder, even if I want to. And if I do, it has to be in a clip where I have to edit that out afterwards because I don't want to be caught like looking at myself because then you guys feel like I'm not talking to you. And obviously I am talking to all of you guys who are watching my video because I want to get to know you and I want you to get to know me. So that was one of the first things that I really had to like make sure that I was focusing on. And also starting videos was so hard for me. Like at first I was never sure if I wanted to be like, hi, welcome back to my channel. But then I'm like, what if someone's new to my channel? Then I can't say welcome back to my channel. And then I have to be like, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. And that kind of sounds weird. And I don't know why I have to say that every time I make a YouTube intro. So now I'm just like, hi everyone. Cause I just honestly, I don't know what else to say and how to start my video. <laughs> And I still remember one of my first videos, like I just didn't know what to do. So I would do like the whole like, hi, welcome, or just something really stupid because I just, I honestly thought it was so awkward. I wanted to just get it over with. So I thought maybe I would just be like funny or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I think it's important to like not be embarrassed by the first videos that you make because obviously they're going to not be that great because you're still learning, especially if you know, it's your first time making videos, your first time being in front of a camera, it's going to be awkward. And the most important part is honestly, if you want to start a channel, just start. Like I did not tell anybody about my channel. Even after putting up like five videos, I did not tell anybody because I did not want the pressure on myself to have to be perfect and have to make sure that my videos were good. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to film. I'm going to edit and put up the video. I'm not going to tell anyone and however they perform, they perform. Like I honestly don't care if people watch my first videos because those were just a place for me to learn. And so the fewer people watch my videos in the beginning, obviously the better because I, you know, I didn't know what I was doing and my editing was kind of bad and like my music was bad and my lighting, my lighting was okay because I wasn't filming in this room. So I was just filming like in natural lighting without a background and that worked a lot better for my camera. So honestly, if you want to start a channel, just do it and don't worry if your videos are bad because they will get better. There's a very steep learning curve in the beginning to figure out everything from like the camera the filming itself, being in front of a camera, like actually like explaining the makeup that you're doing, like that is so hard too. And I didn't realize that because obviously when I used to do my makeup, I would never sit in front of someone and like talk about what I was doing. So the whole just like explaining things is kind of weird because it's not something that you're used to doing and it's something that you have to kind of just learn how to do while you're doing it. So another thing that I had to learn along the way is that 
When you have your memory card, you take it out of your camera and you go to insert it into your computer, either using like a adapter or something to put it into, or you can just put it straight into your computer. But when you do that, you can't just pull the card out because it will damage the files that are on your memory card. And I did not for like the first 10 times know that. So I would always like just pull up my card and then I would get a message on my computer screen saying that disc was not ejected properly. This could damage the card. And obviously after that, I asked my husband, I was like, what does that mean? He's like, oh, you have to like go into your computer and click on the like little like eject button in your finder. And I had no idea because I don't know shit about computers. So I started doing that and I thought everything was fine. And then one day I had a whole video filmed. I had four hours of footage filmed. I had a whole like three looks, one palette filmed as well as another video. And I went to put in my card and start editing. And literally like while I was in the middle of editing a video, I was almost done with it. The card just went, card is not readable anymore. And I didn't know what to do. I was so upset. I thought it was a little adapter that I had that was broken. So I went and I bought a new one. So I plugged my card in and plugged it back into my kid computer and I got the same message. And I was so upset because I lost all the footage that I had. And I'm pretty sure it's because I damaged my card so many times that eventually it just like stopped reading it. So lesson learned, always eject your memory card on your computer before you pull it out. And the last thing that I just want to end this video with is that I am so thankful that I started a channel because I got to meet all of you guys and you don't understand how happy it makes me when I put up a video and I get comments on my videos and you guys are so supportive and it really feels like you honestly enjoy my content and that means so much to me because being so new on YouTube, I feel like it's kind of a privilege to already have so many great people watching. And I'm talking to you all out there, you know who you are, you know who are always commenting. And if you are new to my channel, please, please, please say hi down below in the comments. I would love to just see who you are and say hello to you. And I want to support you as much as you're supporting me. And I want to be friends with you all. And I just thank you all for just making every day so much better for me because I have a place to really share my passion and I just want to thank you all for being my friends and if you are new to my channel I hope you would consider subscribing and become a friend and part of our little family here and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!